that? A Wishmaster Dijin review? As you wish. Hey! <laughs> um, on today's Toy Spot, we're going to be having a look at McFarlane Movie Maniac Series 5 Wishmaster. This is the Dijin from Wishmaster, or Jin if you'd like to. Um, you can call it that as well. Um, if we have a look at the packaging, not a poster on the side of the packaging, however, but an actual picture of the figure. I guess maybe the poster wasn't as interesting enough. Although, I have to, I guess, really, um, Movie Maniac Series 5, I think they did more of the endosc of the actual figure pictures on the side rather than the poster. And I've got the gin at the bottom there. On the back of the packaging, as you can see, there's other figures in the wave. There's the Lord of Darkness. There's Jason Voorhees from Jason X, or Uber Jason. Oh, such a sweet-looking Jason. It's uh, it's painful that the movie sucked so bad, but Uber Jason, to, to this day, is still one of the coolest-looking Jasons. Um, there's Sarah Connor. There's the endoskeleton from T2, and then there's the Tooth Fairy. This is the variant, or this is the initial Tooth Fairy without the mouth open. Um, I have the Tooth Fairy with the mouth open, uh, so I probably would like to go back and pick that one up. But uh, there you have packaging. Not really much to say, um, but what we'll do is we'll get this figure opened up, and we will get a closer look at the figure, so stay tuned. Now, it's a shame that this series got so watered down. Um, the initial entry of the Wishmaster series, Wishmaster 1, uh, came to the th came into the theater, uh, directed by Wes Craven. Great movie. Um, it it was well conceived. It was a, a good thought out movie. And unfortunately, as the series progressed, it got bad, worse, and then it got even worse than that. Um, I think by I think there's only about four Wishmaster movies, but by the fourth Wishmaster, it it, it had no relevance. It made no sense. Because for those who have seen or haven't seen the first Wishmaster, it's a good movie to watch. I mean, it's uh, it's about this genie or djinn um, that can grant wishes. And he basically can grant wishes to anyone, um, but the one that finds this very, very, very small, for those who can find this jewel, this, I guess, ruby kind of thing, and, and unlock and unleash the djinn, uh, they have three wishes. And by the third wish, the catch is, by the third wish, the, the djinn can open up, a I guess, a portal or uh, open up the dimension to where all the other djinns are and, and they can basically come into our world. Um, but, but he can also grant wishes to other people as well. Um, but the, the, there's always a catch. And I, I thought Wishmaster 1 did it brilliantly. They, like, w even Wishmaster, even the Jin says himself, like, I can't do anything unless you wish it. So, like, for example, there's a scene where he's walking up to, surprisingly, Kane Hodder, who played Jason. Uh, he plays, a, I guess, a security guard. And the Jin is in human form by this point. And he says, you know, I, ha I want to, I think he says, I want to see so-and-so. And Kane Hodder, the security guard, says, well, you'll have to go through me or something like that. And the djinn can't do anything unless somebody wishes it. So as as the djinn is walking away, Kane Hodder, or the security guard, says, yeah, I'd like to see you do that, or, or that I'd like to see, or something like that. And that that was a wish. So the djinn basically turns around and says, as you wish. And he turns Kane Hodder into like a sheet of glass, and the and the Jin walks through him, and and he shatters into all these pieces. That is neat. I thought I thought that's really a cool idea. Like the Jin can't do anything unless you wish it of him. So I mean, he can't just kill you unless you ask for it. Um, now where the catch is, though, I mean, where the other sequels didn't do that, the other sequels somebody would just get killed for this for dumb reasons I think one guy was it Wishmaster 2 or Wishmaster 3 one guy wishes for I think two hot women and these topless women come into the uh, you know to the scene and they start making love to the guy and then all of a sudden they start ripping him apart like they I think they start biting off pieces of him and it makes no sense because he didn't wish that I mean 
but, but the idea is there there has to be a little catch with how you say how you say your wish and like the later movies I think miss that point I mean they got him a couple of times but overall I think your strongest movie and the best movie is still the first one and uh, I, I haven't even talked about the figure yet um, the figure itself is very nice really really nice looking figure a nice detailing on the face on the hair he's got the little tendons kind of thing and as you can see he's, he's got like a, a, an armor kind of thing as you can see there and a uh, nice cape he's got nice like a dirty burgundy kind of color and the bone and everything else I mean they put a lot of detail and they certainly didn't skimp on detailing on this guy and uh, it, it's a bit of a shame that of all the figures in this wave, the Tooth Fairy was a real peg warmer, but I think this guy took the cake. This guy was the was the one that just was not selling. I mean, I, I remember going to Toys R Us a couple of months after this set came out, and every figure was gone. I think even the Tooth Fairy was gone, and poor Jin here was the last figure. And they had about three or four of them, and they couldn't even give these away. Which uh, is a shame because it, again, if you've seen the the Wishmaster movie, um, this this figure is decent. I mean, it, it's a really neat neat looking figure. Um, in his articul in the way of his articulation, he has articulation in the head. Uh, no ball joint. It's just a just a swivel. Um, he has a a pin and socket joint in his shoulders. Um, he has a swivel in his elbow. He has a swivel in his hand. Um, nothing... Well, it looks like there's a little articulation in his waist. And articulation in the leg. In, or in the, uh, the shin area, I guess, where his boot starts. And then there's also articulation in his foot. There is a... Is there, is there articulation? You know what? There is an articulation. I was wrong. Um, but really nice detailing. I mean, it's it's definitely a really solid figure. There is also articulation in the uh, the thigh there, but definitely a good solid figure. I mean, it's uh, it's a shame again that this figure got so overlooked because I would say you know it it has it has a real charm to it. Um, you'll also notice that there's a bit of a sunken groove in his hand area. Um, the idea is you can turn his hand around like so. And you can take the ruby or the jewel that contained the gin. You can actually put it in his hand. Um, not well, unfortunately. Kind of have to tip his hand up. And you can have it like that. Now, unfortunately, for how small this jewel is, to buy this guy loose, you probably will not get this jewel. I mean, that's probably the first thing somebody will lose as soon as you open up this package. In fact, I probably will lose this on the way uh, putting it back in the package. But definitely a complete gin needs to have this jewel. And when I eventually put them on display, I don't know if I might glue this in or, you know, just put a, a bit of an adhesive so I can take it off, but at least it's not going to go anywhere. Because definitely will be lost, that's for sure. Um, he also does come with a display stand with the Wishmaster poster. Be careful what you wish for. As you can see, he's got the same jewel in the poster there. Good poster. But overall, definitely worth picking up. I mean, it's definitely worth giving a second chance for. And if you haven't seen Wishmaster, um, give, give that a chance as well, because that's a great movie. Um, it, again, it's a shame that the sequels kind of went, went down the crapper, but the first, the first one still holds up well to this day. But there you have a toy spot on Movie Maniacs Series 5, and that was the Jin, The Jin from Wishmaster. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that hit the spot. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.